Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I want to talk about Donald Trump, Seattle, and I want to talk about Rayshard Brooks. I've been trying. I've been having a hard time pronouncing his name. Uh, I have a hard time with the R. Rayshard. Rayshard. All right. I want to talk about how has Donald Trump... Okay, first of all, has Donald Trump mentioned whatsoever Rayshard Brooks and his murder by uh, two policemen shot in the back? Nope, not a peep. It's Monday morning now, 6 a.m. Not, not a word from him, but I'll tell you what he has talked about. He's talked about that radical left, that Antifa movement, the lawlessness um, in Seattle and how the Democrats are weak and they want to let this sit there. They're weak and powerless and they're trying to hide this and... Uh, that's why, the, oh, and the, the lying media hasn't talked about this at all. Well, where to start with the lies? Let's see. On uh, Face the Nation yesterday, Seattle's police chief, uh, Face the Nation is one of the, if not the highest rated show of that nature on TV. The Seattle um, police chief was on there talking about this, talking about how they're dealing with it. Um, in a nature that will let everybody express their angst, their anxiety about the current situation that keeps going on. You can't expect, this is what it appears, Trump supporters, uh, a lot of people on the, the far, the right, Republicans, they'd like to see this all go away. They want things to go, to go back to the status quo. These are just troublemakers looking for lawlessness, looking to loot and pillage and, and destroy. It's their nature. Uh, and Trump is trying to obfuscate the, trying very hard to obfuscate the, the, the narrative here. Um, okay, we look at Seattle, and I, I'm not sure. I haven't studied up too much, but I know that there's a couple blocks area that's being, uh, that the, the movement, the uh, protesters ha have taken uh are are sitting at i don't want to i I'm, i don't know how to term this uh they're occupying it right now uh in a peaceful manner as a form of protest and donald trump is in a tizzy over this and he this is what he's this concerns him more than anything this apparently he he's much more concerned about this than a, a man being shot in the back and murdered by police officers he's more concerned about uh a peaceful protest about police officers shooting innocent people. All right, so you look at Seattle, and right off the top, right, right from my heart, off the top of my head, I can understand why this is happening. Because it, this, this situation keeps occurring over and over again with... How many times have we seen this over and over with, with the black men being shot in the back, unarmed black men being shot in their car, going for their wallet, doing exactly as they say, um, re, just insane over and over and over. Now, it would appear that Donald Trump and his supporters and a lot of people in, in that, uh, in that, of that frame of mind would just like this to quiet down. You know, there's no race problem, so they say. Um, it's just a few bad cops. Uh, this is their, 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 apparently their view of it. And this thing in Seattle is just needless pandering to a, a radical left. That it, it, they're painting it. It really has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter, in their opinion. It's just uh, these radical Antifa. And it's the uh, weak Democrat Democrat leadership in Seattle that's allowing this this lawlessness to happen. No, no. Well, what's happening here is the people that are demanding they want to be heard. Um, the last thing, let's just face it, they're sick and damn tired of just going out and protesting one day, going back to this, to what they usually do, the status quo, and then having another man shot another woman another man another black man shot to death the next week and the whole thing cycling over again and this this segment the trump support the trump the this whole segment of society that just says oh another bad cop let's just move on we're working on it the point of this situation in seattle is to keep it in the public eye 
It's not to take over the city. It's not to um, lawlessness and looting and pillaging and um, anything anti-American. It's quite the contrary. This is America at its finest. These are people that see the need for change in our country and are demanding it and are using their powers of peaceful protest to bring it about. It's beautiful is what it is. It's freaking beautiful. The reason that I see that they're occupying this is because every time, the hundreds of thousands of times that this has happened in the last year, the last five years, the last 10 years, you get a day of protest, a couple of days of protest, a weekend here, things calm down and things go right back to where they were. Um, this is to keep it in the public eye. This is so that it's in your face. Um, it's an issue and we're going to stay here peacefully until we can talk and resolve this issue to our satisfaction. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It reminds me of the Boston Tea Party, uh, of everything, everything American. Uh, it's beautiful. And you got to ask yourself, the president of the United States is the one against this. That's, that's obfuscating the whole meaning of this. Um, so you have to ask yourself. I, I view this thing in Seattle as a, as a beautiful display of American democracy in action. Um, it's peaceful. That's the main thing. It's, it's a peaceful occupying uh, of an area with the, for the sole intent of bringing this problem to, to the, to, into the light to, so that it doesn't, because it, it, apparently it just keeps slipping back into the darkness in the, the last couple, the, all, all the last hundreds of, of incidents. People come out, they protest, and it goes back to the status quo. This is exactly what they need. You know, this is an issue. Our people are being, black people are being killed, and this needs to be talked about. And we're not going to, we're going to stay here until we can talk about it. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful form of American democracy in action, is the way I see it. Um, and then, like I said, yeah, you have Donald Trump spinning it as a, uh, he keeps calling it Antifa. I wasn't going to talk about this, but there is something that concerns me. Um, in a lot of videos, you, you see basically what looks like white people with masks on starting issues. There was, there was one at the Wendy's. There was one in Los Angeles. And in my opinion, it's just as likely that this is the far right. Um trying to make the Black Lives Matter movement. What better way to make them look violent and to be put down and to put an end to it is, is to make them look violent. Um, that would work in the favor of people that want this to go away. Um, why would these, if there is supposedly Antifa people uh, the, on the left, why, what would they benefit from doing this? Nothing. I can't think of anything. If this was truly Antifa people, you have to look, you know, you have, you've always heard the term follow the money. Well, this is, you know, people do things for a reason that benefit them. You know, people generally almost always don't do something if it has, if it, if it does nothing for them, they're not motivated that you need to be motivated by something. So why would Antifa or, or, or far left radicals, why would they inflame the situation? Uh, because they want to start fights with the police. How is that going to benefit them, though? Um, it's not. And then people start talking about, well, they're trying to overthrow the government. They want to fight the police, but there's no, there, that's not the conversation going out there, on out there. That's not the narrative. The narrative is that this is a peaceful protest about people's lives being important and the malfunctioning of law enforcement in our country. Um, so if, if I look at this in a logical manner, when I look at these, these agitators or whatever they are, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, if you look at motivations, it would be more likely that this would be people on the right looking to end 
to destroy the movement. That's, that's a, from my information, that's all I could surmise out of that. Um, so, with the coming election, though, uh, I would keep this in mind. Um, the way Donald Trump is portraying this and looking at this in the Republican Party, and, I mean, I, I'm, I've been independent my whole, well, a long period of my life. I've been a Republican, I've been a Democrat. Um, you don't have to be a Democrat to vote against Trump. Um, but you can see that Trump is not going to be in a lot of people's best interest come this November. So, something to think about. All right, you guys have a good Monday.